Hello and welcome to the session. Today I will help you with the following question. The question says, draw the graph for the following table of values with suitable scales on the axis. The table is for the interest on deposits for a year. In this table we are given the deposits and the simple interest. Does the graph pass through the origin? Use the graph to find the interest on rupees 2500 for a year. To get an interest of rupees 280 per year, how much money should be deposited? First we draw the graph for this table and then we will answer these questions. We will draw the x axis and the y axis. So we have taken the x axis and the y axis. Now on the x axis we will mark the points for the deposit. And on the y axis we will mark the points for the simple interest. As you can see we have marked the points on the x axis for the deposit and on the y axis for the simple interest. And the scale that we have taken is on x axis we have taken 1 unit equal to rupees 1000 and on the y axis we have taken 1 unit equal to rupees 80. Now we shall plot the values from this table on the graph. Like the first point that we would take would be 1000 comma 80. Let's take this point as k with coordinates 1000 comma 80 where 1000 is the x coordinate that is deposit and 80 is the y coordinate that is the simple interest. Now let's plot this point k on the graph. We locate the point 1000 on the x axis which is this point. Now from this point we move up along the y axis to reach the point that corresponds to 80. So this is the point we mark this as k with coordinates 1000 comma 80. Now the next point that we have is 2000 comma 160. We name it as L 2000 comma 160 where 2000 is the x coordinate that is the deposit and 160 is the y coordinate that is the simple interest. To mark this point L that is 2000 comma 160 we first locate 2000 on the x axis. This is the point. Now from here we move along the y axis to move to the point that corresponds to 160 and this is the point. We name this as L with coordinates 2000 comma 160. Now the next point is 3000 comma 240. We name this point as M 3000 comma 240 where 3000 is the deposit and 240 is the simple interest. Now let's mark the point M. For this we locate the point 3000 on the x axis. This is the point. Now from here we move along the y axis to locate the point that corresponds to 240 and this is the point. Mark this point as M with coordinates 3000 comma 240. The next point is 4000 comma 320. Let's name this point as N 4000 comma 320 where 4000 is the x coordinate that is the deposit and 320 is the y coordinate that is the simple interest. To mark this point we locate the point 4000 on the x axis. This is the point. Now from here we move along the y axis to locate the point that corresponds to the value 320. So we get this point. Let's name it N with coordinates 4000 comma 320. Now the next one is 5000 comma 400. Let's name this as O 5000 comma 400. Where 5000 is the x coordinate that is the deposit and 400 is the y coordinate that is the simple interest. To locate this point we first locate the point 5000 on the x axis which is this point. Now from here we move along the y axis to move to the point that corresponds to the value 400 on the y axis. 
So this is the point that is O and that is 5000 comma 400. Now we shall join all these five points to get the required graph. We have joined the points and we get a straight line which is the required graph. Now we can answer these questions. The first part says, does the graph pass through the origin? When we produce this graph line backwards, we see that it passes through the point O with coordinate 0, 0, which is the origin. Thus, the answer for the first part is, yes, the graph passes through the origin. The next part says, use the graph to find the interest on Rs. 2500 for a year. That is, we have to find the interest for the amount of Rs. 2500. Now, the amount deposited 2500 is given by the midpoint of 2300, which would be this point. This is 2500. To find the interest on rupees 2500, we move from this point upwards along the y-axis and we reach at this point, which is the midpoint of 160 and 240, that is 200. So we say, interest on rupees 2500 for a year is rupees 200. The next part of the question says, to get an interest of rupees 280 per year, how much money should be deposited? It is given that the interest is of rupees 280 and 280 would correspond to the midpoint of 240 and 320 which would be this point. Now from this point we move along the x-axis to the right and we reach at this point which corresponds to the midpoint of 3000 and 4000 that is this and that would be 3500. So we say rupees 3500 should be deposited to get an interest of Rupees 280 per year. Hence, our final answer is, for the first part, it's yes. For the second part, it's rupees 200. For the third part, it's rupees 3500. So, hope you enjoyed the session. Have a good day.